Hey guys, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Block. This week, I made a trip up to Santa Rosa, California to meet with inventor and musician Jeremy Bell, who has built the scrub board. The scrub board in its current prototype state is a modified tape cassette player with the tape head ripped out and connected to a longer cable, allowing Jeremy to scratch like a hip hop DJ simply by scrubbing the tape head over elevated pieces of audio tape. During his early experiments with analog tape machines, he found he could produce record scratching sounds similar to a hip hop DJ scratching vinyl using analog tape and in a much more effective way, eliminating the difficult finger movements that hip hop scratch DJs do when scratching a record on a turntable. The result is a similar sound with much more control and precision. He was able to build a prototype drawing up early mock-ups and by literally hacking a couple of old Walkmans he had lying around. The scrub board is stereo, so you can scratch with two audio sources at the same time, even incorporating guitar loops and riffs into the mix. Jeremy has gotten a lot of attention online from the DJ scratching community after he posted a video of himself demoing the scrub board a few months back. As of now, Jeremy has his sights on creating a do-it-yourself kit for the scrub board for people who want to build one of their own. You can learn more about the scrub board at thescrubboard.com. Let's do some entertainment news. Producer and director Ridley Scott has signed on to produce 3001 A Space Odyssey sequel as a TV miniseries. The show will be an adaptation of Arthur C. Clarke's 3001 The Final Odyssey, and will air on the Sci-Fi Channel in 2015. Pirates of the Caribbean screenwriter Stuart Beatty has been tapped to adapt the script for TV. Trent Reznor is teaming up with Apple and Beats Music for something top secret that Mr. Reznor says he can't go into detail about. I'm also working with Apple, something I think is important to music in general. That's really all I can say right now. Trent Reznor has always been a champion of free music, giving Nine Inch Nails albums away for free via digital download and encouraging his fans to steal his music. In a recent interview with Billboard magazine, he discussed his work on David Fincher's film Gone Girl and hinted at some other things he has in the works for the future of music streaming and upcoming Nine Inch Nails projects. And it was announced this week that Hodor will not be playing Hodor in season five of Game of Thrones. Hodor. Hodor. Science and technology have come together to figure out the top 20 catchiest songs of all time. A year-long study conducted by the Museum of Science and Industry in Manchester, UK, measured how recognizable hit songs were and how long it would take people to remember the name or the hook of a hit song. A list was compiled based on input from users of a special website where they could play an online game called Hooked on Music. The game contained clips from 1,000 hit songs from the past 70 years. The game collected data from over 12,000 people, and here are the top five catchiest songs of all time on the planet Earth. Coming in at number five is ABBA with S.O.S. Coming in at number four is Lady Gaga with Just Dance. Number three in our countdown is Survivor with Eye of the Tiger. The number two catchiest song is Lou Vega, Mambo number five. And coming in at number one in our countdown of the catchiest of all time songs on the world planet is The Spice Girls with One of You. Alright guys, that's the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave and check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is the TP-Link 10,400 milliamp portable power bank. It's always good to have extra power on the go. Go to the blog and enter to win. Yeah, that's so wild. Gotta push it in. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh it made it out the other side. <laughs>